Before you begin, remove the service cover. Wireless LAN module. Solid state drive or wireless WAN module. Hard disk drive assembly. Optical drive. Keyboard. Top cover. Battery. And fan. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel cable ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel cable from the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the optical drive ZIF connector and disconnect the optical drive connector cable from the system board. Remove the three 6mm T9 Torx head screws, identified with a triangle, that secure the system board to the base enclosure. Remove the USB bracket from the system board. Lift the right edge of the system board off of the alignment pins and slide the external connectors out from the cutouts in the base enclosure. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the system board. Note, before installing a new system board, remove the following from the old system board and install onto the new system board. Memory boards. Heat sink. Real-time clock RTC battery. Reverse this procedure to install the system board. Important, after system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings,